Hollywood. Here's the game where knowledge is king and Lady Luck is queen. It's the Joker's Wild. And now here's your host, the star of the Joker's Wild, Brandon Scrub. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome in to another edition of the Joker's Wild right here at MVG Productions. Glad you could be with us once again. Well, we've reached our final 10 episodes of the season. The countdown is on. Players now beginning to jockey for position to try to get into our top eight and make our tournament of champions in just 10 short episodes. But we got a good we got a good champion right now who is ready to see if he can hold on to his to all these crowns along with against playing against some good players. So let's meet our players for this first game. And they are the following. Our returning temporary champion whose two game winnings total $89,032 meets Mr. Eric Lima and his opponent from Florida, Mr. Christopher Rahman. Gentlemen, welcome into the Jewish Wild. We'll start with you, Chris. How are you doing this evening? Very well. Yeah, Chris back with us once again. Uh, what, remind me again what part of Florida you're from? Um, I'm in Palm Bay, Florida. Uh, I'm in Brevard County. Ah, okay, Brevard County. All right. I think I actually know where that's at. As in B-R-E, not B-O, not B-R-O. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I got you there. All right, well, ready, best of luck to you tonight. Are you ready to play? Yes. All right, well, fantastic. Good luck to you. Playing well, against a good champion right now, Mr. Eric Lima, who has eighty over $89,000 in cash and prizes. Eric, welcome back, sir. Thank you very much, Brandon. How are you I'm doing? I'm doing well. And apparently, I, may, I have made a mistake somewhere in my notes here. I crowned you the interim champion last time. You're actually our third current champion right now uh, because Mr. Um, Yoshi Rivers actually had a championship prior that I just forgot to write down for uh, my overall leaderboard chart, so that's my mistake. But you're still crown a champion, and hopefully you'll be playing him a little bit later on in game number two, Suze, if he arrives on time. But right? so you ready to see if you can hold on to your crown for now? Yeah, I'll see what I can do. Let's see what Chris is all about. Let's do this thing. All right, let's get ready to play some Joker's Wild players. You know how this works, but for our new viewers at home, the way this game works is quite simple. We got three. We got a giant slot machine over here. It's got a bunch of categories on it. Now spin the reel. Pick a category, answer a question. They get it right, they get the cash associated with the, the categories. Now, a single category is worth $500 this game. Any pair is worth $1,000. Um, three times $1,000. A natural triple of any category gets you a special bonus prize, which is yours to keep no matter what happens. And, of course, the Jokers are wild. You can use them from any category that you'd like. And the first player to reach $5,000 in proper turn wins the game. Goes on to the bonus round to see if they can try to beat the devil for a lot more cash and prizes, possibly even a brand new card. So we'll see what happens there. Good luck to you both. Let's jump right into this game of the Joker's Wild by taking a look at the categories we'll be using in our first game, and they are the following. We have science. Anything goes. We are books. Movies. Athletic feats. And finally, we finish with true or false. All right, and players in the true or false category, of course, I will read you a true or false statement. You'll give, you'll give me your answer. If you're correct, you get the money. If you're incorrect, however, your opponent gets the money, all right? So just be aware of that as we play. I'm some of the real contestants, and Chris, as the challenger, you have the right to end first. Good luck to you. All right. Here we go. Science. Your books and science. What would you like? Let's see. I will try the science one. Oh, science for a thousand dollars. All right. A thousand. I'm sorry. Right. I like to forget. Yeah, you do that. That's all right. You, you, you picked science. You gave me the category, which is more important than anything. But right. science is the category. Here comes your science question for a thousand dollars. All right, Chris. What element on the periodic table of elements uses the chemical symbol CR? What chemical on the periodic table element is the chemical symbol CR? For $1,000. C. Yes, CR. For $1,000, name it. Yeah. 
Need an answer. I I don't I can't remember what it was. I know it's carbon something. I don't know. All right, let's not pick the correct answer there. So sorry, right, Eric. Pick up a thousand dollars here if you know. Hmm. We are. Would that be chromium or something like that? I forget. It is chromium. You can't write. Very good. That was, my science a little more. <laughs> that, was a, that was a wild guess. Well, paid off, sir. Well done. You got a thousand dollars for you. A thousand for Eric. Nothing for Chris. Yet. Eric, you're spit. There you go. Anything goes. Science and your books. Let's try anything goes for five hundred dollars. All right, anything goes. Of course, in this category, literally anything could come up. So let's see. Here is your question. Right, Eric, according to the Bible, Eve was made from what part, body part of Adam? For five hundred dollars, name it. Rib. Does the rib? You're correct. Very good. All right, five hundred for you brings you up to fifteen hundred. Got the lead. Chris, you're spit. All right. The Joker, true or false, and F for the cheats. That's the category I was looking for. Give me that true or false. All right, going true or false on this one for a thousand. Okay, going for a thousand dollars on true or false. Again, I will read you a true or false statement. Must uh, give me the correct answer. If you do, you get the money for it. And if you don't, Eric will get the money for it. All right. Here's your question. Here's your statement under true or false. All right. All right. Chris, Judaism is a polytheistic religion. Again, Judaism is a polytheistic religion. Is that true or false? Judy. Yeah, basically they believe in more than one God. <laughs> Judaism, that's kind of sounds familiar if you ask me. That, that name itself sounds familiar if you ask me. I'll take a wild guess. I'd say true. No, I'm sorry. It's actually false. It's a, it's a monotheistic religion. Basically, they believe in one God only. So, watch you miss that. So, Eric gets the money. All right. So, that gives Eric 2500 there. 2500 for him. Nothing for Chris. And, Eric, it is your spin. Here we go. Joker. 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 A triple joker question, Eric. Which means basically if you get this question correct, it automatically augments your score to five thousand dollars and you win the game. And the best part about this one is Chris cannot steal this one from you. This is a question solely for you. So again, all you have to do is pick a category, get the question correct, and you win the game. Once again, the categories for this round are science, anything goes, we're books, movies, athletic feats, or true or false. Movies, please. Go on with movies. All right. Movies is the category chosen. Remember, if you get it right, again, you win the game automatically. All right. On a triple joker question, here it is. All right, Eric, for the game. What movie's familiar Oscar nominated theme song is titled Gonna Fly Now? Again, what movie your Oscar nominated theme song is titled Gonna Fly Now? It's automatically jumped to five thousand dollars in the game. Name the movie. Rocky. Rocky is correct. You've won the game. Congratulations, sir. Well done. Triple Joker came through for you. One, your next game is another five thousand dollars added to your score. You'll be playing against the devil here in just a minute. Uh, Chris, unfortunately, uh, Lady Luck was not on your side this time around. But, but we do thank you for playing with us. Nice part games, and we will have you back here on a future episode. All right? All right, all right Eric. With that win right there, that's your third win in a row here. It is your crown champion. You can sell a healthy ton out ninety four thousand thirty two cash of prizes, and in just a moment, 
you know, take a shot, see if he can take that to the devil some more cash prizes, possibly a new car, as we wrap up down after this. Welcome back to the Joker's Wild. Eric has won the third game in a row now to 94,032. And he is ready to take on Moose the Devil in our bonus round. Come on over here. All right, welcome in, sir. Bonus round time for you. This is your chance to see how well you could do playing our bonus round here. We've got the prize board already loaded up here for you, full of cash and prizes and some other goodies as well. So why don't you go ahead and let's see what prize you'll be playing for today. Good start for you. The queen size bed and sleep set along with a billiards table and a joker worth ten thousand dollars in cash. Makes your prize package eighteen thousand seven ninety nine with a chance for a bonus pass. Let's spin it again. And ooh, a nice brand new spa along with a trip to Montego Bay and another joker. Get your prize package now $39,034 cash and prizes. Let's see behind the tool we have a Dodge Caravan worth $19,340. Your total prize package $58,374 cash and prizes can be yours, but only if you can beat the devil. All right, Eric, here's your chance to see if you can take home a good chunk of prizes here, sir. All right, the uh, reels have now been loaded up with a bunch of cash amounts ranging from $250 all the way to $2,000. Your objective is to get $10,000 before you see the devil come up. If you can do that, you win the cash in the pot plus the prize package as well. There are also some jokers up there that can help you as well. Every joke you spin gets you $1,000 in guaranteed bonus money. Spend three jokers in a row on any of your spins, you get the joker's jackpot, which currently stands at $200,000. You can do it on one of your first two spins, however. We double the cash to $400,000. You could easily walk away from this bonus round with almost a half a million dollars in cash of prizes, sir. All right? But be warned. Yeah, but be warned. However, we see the devil's looking up there somewhere. If you find Lucy, you lose everything you've got in your bank, except for the Joker bonus money you got, because that's guaranteed to you no matter what happens. All right. And of course, if you do have a fear of the devil, you can stop at any time. Take the money one walked away. All right. So everything's set up. If you're ready, good luck to you. Give those girls a spin. Let's hopefully give away that jackpot finally. And the Joker just helped me in the main game. They better help me here. Let's get to it. First spin up. Joker. Joker. Oh! Oh, oh, right there. I thought we were going to do it first spin. That would have been amazing. All right. You got $2,000 in your bank. You got $2,000 in bonus break guaranteed here. What do you want to do? Stop the go. Come on, three jokers on this spin will still get you the double jack out of four hundred thousand dollars. Here we go, two thousand, one thousand, and damn it, Lucy. Let me see. Our joker not showing up. Well, dang. Well, Eric, unfortunately, I wish we could give up money for you, but unfortunately, Lucy says no. But good news. See what. Ruin Rusev Day. Yeah, ruin Rusev Day, Lucy. Dang it. Ruin Rusev Day. You just made the list. Well, the, well, the good news is, though, sir, you did spend two jokers on that first time, so that's $2,000 in guaranteed money to you. We add that to your previous winnings. You now have a three game total of $96,032 cash of prizes. And the good news is, you get a chance to play another game. We're going to take another commercial break. When we come back, we're going to find another opponent for him. We got more jokers as well. All the way. Stay close. Uh, Lucy, why did that be such a pain? <laughs> Lucy. 
Welcome back to Joker's Wild here. Eric, unfortunately, not having much luck against Lucy in that bonus round, but he may get another chance to get back there and get past our next opponent, so let's meet him now. Coming to us from the West Coast, new members of the MVP production crew, Pete Travis. Travis, welcome into the Joker's Wild, sir. It's, it's, I'm glad to be here. How's everybody doing? We're fine, sir. I'm glad to have you part of the group. Uh, Travis, a longtime friend of mine from uh, my early days doing uh, blog TV, back when the website was still up. Uh, we used to host game shows and stuff there. Uh, ran, with a lot of, ran with a lot of folks there that you might have seen throughout some of the videos here. But for the good folks at home who may not know you or remember you, remind us a little bit about yourself, Travis. Back in the blog TV days, uh, my name was DK Travis. We all took part in some of Big John's games, had fun in some of his Price is Right, things like that. I myself like Diddy, like to build, um, shoot him up Call of Duty occasionally, but we, we don't do that too much anymore. And yeah, this is a game show. Glad to be here. Oh, fantastic, sir. Well, best of luck to you tonight in Joker's Wild well, playing against a very good opponent. So it should be a good game between these two. Let's go ahead and get started by taking a look at the categories for this game of the Joker's Wild, well, and they are the following. We have pop culture, language, grab bag, past, present, future, EG, and finally we still have the true or false category. All right. All right, as the song for the players now, and as always, the challenger gets to start first. Travis, when you're ready, just go ahead and click on the center of the screen there and then hit the enter key and spin those reels. Good luck to you. All right, off the front of the dragon bag, pop culture, and geek sheet. Which category would you like? Let's try Geek Chic. All right, go on Geek Chic there. Uh, this is the end. Well, this is for $500 to you. Here is your question. All right, Travis, what color is copper sulfate? Again, what color is copper sulfate? Is it A, red, B, blue, or C, gray? say it's red. No, I'm sorry. It's not red. It's incorrect. Eric, you can pick up $500 here if you know it. It'd be blue? It is blue. Very good. You got it. <laughs> All right. Money's yours. All right. Score is 500 to nothing. Eric, you're spent. Joker. True fault. And a joker. Nice. Ooh, let's go for true or false for 2000 Hey, again, true or false for $2,000. Again, player, Eric, I'll read you a statement. Get me the correct answer. You get the money. However, miss it. And Travis gets the money, all right? Here is your question. All right, here's your statement. True or false, Eric? The best-selling author of Still Alive Today is J.K. Rowling. Again, the best-selling author alive today is J.K. Rowling. Is that true or false? I believe that's true. No, believe it or not, it's actually false. It's Danielle Steele with over 800 million copies uh, of her, all of her books sold. So that's a correct question. So Travis gets the money. Uh, it's true as well, probably. So I I might th you would think as successful as the Harry Potter series was, but yeah, a lot of people forget about Danielle Steele there. So, all right, Travis gets. Benefit of that, he's up to two thousand dollars. Eric has five hundred, and Travis, it's your spin. And a sugar. Here we go. Let's try true or false for two thousand. Okay, once again, true or false. Here is your true or false statement. Rio de Janeiro is the federal capital of Brazil. Again, Rio de Janeiro is the federal capital of Brazil. Is that true or false? I'm going to 
NSA false? It is false. Brazil's capital is actually Brasilia. You are correct, sir. Eric, the newcomer out to a big lead, 4,000 to 500. Eric, need a big spin to get you back in this game, sir. Joker, Joker. Come on. Come Grab on. back. Oh. Back for 2,000. All right, go on to grab back for 2,000 again. Give this rush to the grab back for your $2,500. Get you back in the game. Missed it, however. And Travis gets it right. He'll have enough money to win the game. All right. So here is your question. Here's your grab bag question here. Let's see, we'll get back to the grab bag and here we go. Hundred in the grab bag to go, and here's your question, Eric. The most common birthday for Americans lies in what month? Again, the most common birthday for Americans lies in what month? Is A September, B October, or C November? September. Say that again. Type it in. Okay. You said September, and September, unfortunately, is incorrect. Travis, if you give me the correct answer here, you can win the game. Again, the most common birthday for Americans lies in what month? Is it B, October, or C, November? I would have September. That's me myself. Um, I'm going to say November. November is incorrect. It's actually October, according to the studies, to be honest. Oh! All right, so no money changes hands there. Score remains the same, 4,000 to 500. And Travis, it's your spin. Pop culture, Joker, and a Joker. Let's go true or false for a thousand. Right, going off the board with the power of the Joker. Going for a true or false question for a thousand dollars. A little strategy there. All right, give, give me the correct answer on this, Travis. It'll give you five thousand dollars enough to win the game. However, the champion was spending last take one more turn. All right. Here is your true or false state. All right, Travis. The Battle of Little Bighorn. Occurred in 1865. Again, the Battle of the Little Bighorn occurred in 1865. Is that true or false? I'm totally bad with history, but it's 50 50, so I'm going to say true. No, I'm sorry, it's actually false. It occurred in 1876. Eric, you can give up $1,000. <laughs> Uh, it's okay. A lot of those questions get everybody there, but it's all right. Still in the game. Travis got the lead four thousand. Eric got fifteen hundred. Eric, it's your spin. Language and past, present, and future. Let's try past, present, and future for five hundred dollars, please. All right, going past, present, and future for five hundred. Here is your past, present, future question. Eric, what animal is on the state flag of California? Again, what animal is on the state flag of California? For $500, name it. A bear. It's the bear. You're correct. The bears. The bears. Good job. You got $2,000 for you. $4,000 for Travis. Travis, your spin. Joker. Travis a Joker. And a Joker. Right, 
Go fast present for 2000 there. Can get this question correct, give you $6,000 enough to win the game. But of course, the champion gets one more turn. Miss it, and Eric can tie up the match. Here is your question. Travis, in what country will you find the Great Sandy Desert? Again, in what country will you find the Great Sandy Desert? For $2,000, name it. No. Yes, there's a lot of sand there, but that's not where you'll find the Great Sandy Desert. Eric, you can pick up $2,000 if you know. Hmm. States of America? No, sorry, it's not in the U.S. Believe it or not, it's actually located in Australia. Located in Australia there, so. All right, no matter shake his hands again. Score still 4000 to 2000 Eric, you're spent. Yeah, iconics were not watching this. Language, Joker, and pop culture. So let's try pop culture for a thousand, please. All right, go off the pop culture. Pick on your pop culture question for a thousand. All right, Eric, what is the only kind of meat eaten by a pescatarian? That's P E S C A T A R I A N. What's the only kind of meat eaten by a pescatarian? For $1,000, name it. I've heard that word. Fish. Did you say fish? Did you say fish, Eric? I said fish. Okay, fish is the correct answer you got. Come down for you. Done. Like Bobby Fish. Yes. A little piece of fish. Fish and chips, delicious. Anyway, Joker and a Joker. See, I, it, it's interesting because I know it was some of his questions, but it's it's really I can't know my questions. Give me past and present for right, two thousand. Past, present, future for two thousand. Again, get this question correct. I'll give you six thousand dollars enough to win the game. Of course, the champion will get one more spin. But of course, if you miss it, however, and Eric gives me the correct answer, that'll give him $5,000 in the proper turn enough to win the game. So this could be the final question in the game. We'll see what happens. Here it is. All right, under past, present, future, Travis, what famous astronaut said the following phrase? This is one small step for man. One giant leap for mankind. For two thousand dollars, and possibly the game. Name him. I hate when my answers are more interesting because you just get me to go to the answer that's wrong. <laughs> Let me go with Buzz Aldrin. I'm sorry, Buzz Aldrin's incorrect. Eric, if you can give me the correct answer, you can win the win your fourth game. Again, what famous astronaut said, this is one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind? Armstrong. Neil Armstrong is correct. You've won again. Wow, good game between both of you. Fighting challenger for this one. Unfortunately, we fell just a little bit short there. We thank you for playing, Travis. You're not leaving here empty handed. We have a nice parting gift for you, and we'd love to have you back on a future episode, sir. All right? Yeah, definitely. We'll come back for more. All right. With that said, thank you, Travis. Nice losing game, buddy. All right. Well, with that said, Eric, you got another five. Luck in the bonus. Round. Yeah, 5000 for you added to your winnings. Bring you up to six figures now, sir, with $101,032 cash and prizes. And in just a moment, we're going to see if he can finally find me to beat the devil and take up some bonus prizes in the bonus round. We'll have that for you right after the stage.
back to the chapter clock here with our gambling here. Now for $101,000 of cash and prizes. He's going to take a shot once again to see if he can beat the devil. Come on over here. Alright, sir. Welcome back to Bonus Land. We're going to give you a second shot here to see if you can get some bad prizes. So go ahead and give that real spin. Let's see what you'll be playing for. Hey, that here. Alright, we got a Joker. Joker. Hey, triple Joker on the prize board. That's $50,000 in cash for you and a bonus spin. Go ahead, spin it again. Joker. Joker. Oh, I thought we were going to do it twice oh. in a row. I thought we were going to get the $100,000 prize. Uh, but instead, you've got yourself a nice queen and console piano, along with another $20,000 in cash. That's $74,000 cash in prizes, sir, along with a chance to play for Frank and the car. What's up there? Which car you want to play for? One. Number one top of the board we have... A Dodge Dakota ST worth $21,146. Make sure total prize package, sir. $95,146 cash of prizes can be yours, but only, and that's only, if you can beat the devil. That was only a hand in that here, but our second chance would be as well. Quite true, sir. All right. You didn't have much luck last time. You almost got the triple joker for the jackpot. But we're going to give you another shout out this time. We've got another $5,000 to the jackpot. Making it worth $205,000 if you spend three jokers. Again, do one on one of your first two spins. We double it to $410,000. With your prize package, sir, you can walk away with a half a million dollars plus if you can get that double jackpot. All right? But of course, again, as always, if you have fear of the devil, you can stop and take your money anyway. But when you're ready, best of luck to you. Give it a spin, and let's hope you get some money. Let's go. Over my Rusev Day t-shirt for luck here. And here we go. 250, 250, ah, thousand dollars. Natural triple, of the real double for the player. We've got 1500 dollars, Eric. Nothing. You're 8,500 away. What do you want to do? Stop. Here we go. All right, going on. Risking 1,500 on this one. We got 1,000. 1,000. I have 100. Almost got the natural triple again. All right, so no double jackpot. Still playing for 205,000 dollars. We're going to go for it. We're 6,000 goes away from the win. What do we want to do? Seventy-seven fifty here. Three jokers or two thousand. Two fifty. Two thousand. We got a winner. Yeah. Well done, sir. Congratulations. That's twelve thousand five hundred dollars in cash you won in the bank, along with your prize package for this bonus round. You've won one. $146, sir. Well done. And then when we add that amount into your previous total, that gives you now a four-game cash of prizes totaling $208,678. Congratulations. Wow, dude. <laughs> Nicely done. Over $200,000 for you, and you'll be back with us on our next episode to see if you can hold on to your just a little bit more. And for meantime, springtime, it is now time for our audience game, where you let three lucky members of our studio all get a chance to come over here and see if they can take down the devil. So let's see who's going to be playing today. We're looking for Andrew, Jefferson, and Travis. Here's your chance to see if you can face the devil. All right. 
and gentlemen, welcome, man, here. Our three audience members of the day. We just saw Travis play in a game, but he's our third audience member for this audience game. I play. This is how this one works. Again, we have cash on the first half, ranging from $100 to $1,000. You each get one spin reel. Whoever spends most money uh, will be our winner and come up to the stage here to play against Lucy the Devil in our audience game. But remember, no matter how much money you win, that's yours to keep, and it gets added to your season total here in the audience game. Because remember, the top three member winners of our audience game get to come back uh, on our championship episode and play off in the audience game championship round. All right. So with that said, Andrew, you were selected first. So when you're ready, sir, give it a spin, and good luck to you. Nice total for you there. All right, so $800 now, the score to be. Justin, you ready? Yes, sir. Right, this spin, good luck. My big bucks. Here we go. $1,000. $1,000. $1, $1, $1, $1, $1, $1, $1, $1, $1, $1, $1, $1, $1, $1, $1, $1, $1, $1, $1, $1, $1, $1, $1, $1, $1, $1, $1, $1, $1, $1,
looking at 82.50 on the line. 500, 2,000, 2,000, and we got another winner. Congratulations, sir. That is $12,750 in cash, along with your price package and $1,000 for spending a joker. You will, and we add in your $2,300 from the first half of the audience game here. You're today's big audience game winner with $82,011. Cash prizes. Congratulations. <laughs> Nicely done, sir. Well done. All right. We've got two big winners here on the show today. And we want to thank everybody for watching another fun-filled episode of Joker's Box. Remember, if you like the series and you want to see more of it, press the subscribe button down below. Ring the bell. That way you never miss out on all the fun and games going down here at MVG Productions. Help us reach our subscriber goal 1,000 subscribers by the end of 2018. In the meantime, between time, until Lucy the Devil comes plaguing us once again and tries to take away all the cash and prizes, I'm your host, Brandon Scrub, saying thank you so much for watching. We will see you all next time on another edition of the Joker's Wild. Bye for now. <laughs>